<laughs> hey, how are ya? <laughs> anyway, I'm Tanara. On Facebook, I'm Ms. Reality. And this is my son. As you all know, Jayhawk. Um, you might I don't, know if you don't. <laughs> might. I'll just first say, you know, shout out to Artonius, Glyphic, Marcel, Israel, all those that, Ramar. <laughs> Hope I said that right because he always corrected me. But anyway, just. Those are just a handful of people that I know of that speak into my son's life. And even though you're not physically here, you have touched him in some type of way. No homo. <laughs> but anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, you might see us joke around a lot, but it's just to keep from having everything that's going on overcome us. You got to laugh. You got to joke around. Or stuff will get you, you know, just because you're smiling every day. Or you might take a good FB shot. That don't mean everything is fine, you know. People say that, but it takes a lot of courage to admit that you need help. Um, sometimes you got to throw away pride so you can eat. Throw away pride so you can maintain and be sane. Um, so basically, just a little synopsis of our life. Um, I've been singing all my life. Um, I believe I could play an instrument, but I'd rather play tackle football outside with the boys because I was a tomboy. Um, but I, I grew up around singers and musicians. My mother, my father, preachers and pastors. Um, all my life. Then when I had my children, at that very, very, very young age, my first son, who played the keys, his first love was the drums. He was three. And ever since then, every child that come out, they either can play the instrument or and sing. And we've just been doing that, you know, not only just for the Lord, but just because we love music. Um, and now that we're we're older, we're going our, our separate ways as far as our beliefs or even as far as researching and soul searching. Um, but we do have God in the center of it all. Uh, recently, well not recently, in the past few years, maybe six, seven years, it's been a lot going on. Um, I won't detail everything, but basically from, um, I'm going through a divorce right now, um, not to bash my husband or anything. It's, you know, both of our, um, it come to a point where it's both of us that, you know, look at reality and need to back up. Um, so that's a hard road, especially, especially when one of us don't want to accept it. Um, and also, you know, my children, you know, I have a daughter that's about to have a child and I am really not ready to be a grandmother. I barely can <coughs> say that word, but you know, God is the only one who says when there's life and when there's death. So I have to be prepared I'm not prepared um, I've been taking off my job since I, I worked uh, the end of May got in a car accident somebody somebody else's fault I uh, was in therapy from May until like August 23rd the day I was released I broke my toe so I was off work again for almost two months um, but because of everything that's going on mentally I could not work Right, I was messing up things, and I so my boss pulled me. Uh, well, not my boss, but the, we have a program at work that recommended you know maybe I go get you know therapy. And it's been really hard because financially we've not been able to keep things afloat. Um, although I get disability, it's not even it's less than half of, of what we make. Um, but my kids are very very supportive. I I do believe even. Without the outside support, God will provide. But I am so appreciative when my son came to me and let me know that there was a few people who were concerned and wanted to reach out and help us. And I am so overwhelmed that um, you want to do such a great deed um, for us. We would we would be greatly appreciated for whatever it is, whatever small or large. I am just grateful for whatever. I'm grateful just for the thought. So from us to you, 
we love you and um whoever puts their hands on this project so to speak to reach out to our family we want to say that we are um more than humble more than grateful and we wish you many blessings um for years to come and i'm going to sing a song to you thank you all thank you say thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. I don't, I don't even know what to say much, but thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody who, you know, um, going to chip into this um, project or whatever you have to give, even if it's just a listen, we still appreciate it and you just... Um, Karen being able to, you know, watch this video and whatnot, and I I can say I can shout out so many people right now, but y'all know I love y'all and and we love you for me and my family and everybody out there who support you know my music and listen to me what I did I helped out in the cash for Brandon and Mr X before. And which was excellent project yeah, by the way. It was great. <laughs> oh, every everything on the whole both of them was tight. Um, but just to be able to reach out for, and help somebody, you know, in need, that right there is is huge. You know, even when, you know, look on the outside looking in it may look like that that person is doing, you know, just fine just because they're being like they they have so many things or they have so many gifts and stuff but they may still be struggling you know like basically like that song called smiling faces you know what i'm saying it's might smile at you and still be going through a ton of stuff you know but i appreciate it you know and thanks thanks i love y'all every last one of y'all Cause right now in my head I could say so much stuff, but like I had to think so fast. <laughs> I gotta think so fast, but I appreciate all y'all for all the love and everything. Deuces. <laughs>